Hello, in this video I'm going to be talking about how we can deal with something called multi-class regression. Um, so let's review a little bit about what we've been doing with logistic regression. Um, in general, we've been trying to find something that can classify it, can look at a row of data and, um, and say, well, oh, either true or false. <clears throat> that problem is called um, binary classification. And, um, and it would be based on something very similar that we, to what we would use for layer regression. Uh, we would have a bunch of coefficients, uh, probably ones that we found with logisticregression.fet. And then we had to have our classification model, uh, which would return either true or false. And the way we would do that is we would take a row of data and multiply it by our coefficients to get a number. Um, then we would take the sigmoid of that number to convert it to something between 0 and 1. Um, we would round it to get exactly 0 or 1. And then we would treat a 1 as a true and, and 0 as a false. Right? So that's what we would do. And then, of course, rather than actually kind of dealing with the coefficients directly this way, we would probably just kind of use this handy logistic regression dot predict. Okay. And so that's great, right? We can take these numbers and, 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 and basically get a true or false. But what are we going to do if we want to have more than two categories? Um, for example, down here, I produced a data set where I have a bunch of animals, and we know the weight of those animals in pounds, and, um, and then we know what kind of animal it was, and we can have either dogs, cat, or mice, and, and of course those are probably from heaviest to um, lightest, right? I just made up the data for that. And, um, and so how can we do that, right? This is just returning a true or a false, right, when I convert to a Boolean, but how can I convert that to a, you know, a dog, cat, or mouse? And it turns out that what logistic regression is doing is something called <clears throat> uh, OVR, one versus rest. And um, what it's realizing is that, well, we have three different things. And so it's actually entrained three logistic regressions, uh, each of which gives a true or false, right? So there's maybe one that says true or false. Is it a dog? True or false? Is it a cat? True or false? Is it a mouse? So I actually have three uh, logistic regressions. And the key that we're going to try to deal with is instead of each of these three logistic regressions saying true or false, we're just going to take this part of it, and that will tell us whether, um, well, how confident the logistic regression is that it's a dog. How confident is the cat logistic regression that it is that it's a cat? And then uh, we'll basically see, well, whoever is most confident is the dog uh, regression most confident, or the cat regression, or the mouse regression. And then we'll kind of go with whatever class is the, is the highest. And um, logistic regression in Python is automatically doing that um, for us. So we're going to kind of peek into that. So here I have my data. And you can see I have this ones column that I'm, I'm just going to use for kind of illustration purposes later. Um, I'm splitting half and half, uh, stratifying on the kind of animal we have. And, um, and let's do a logistic regression on this. I'm going to say from sklearn. Dot, uh, linear models import logistic regression and I'm going to create one of these and I'm going to fit it and what do I want to fit it to? Well I want to fit uh, between my x values the weight and my y values the kind so I will do that so I'm going to say um, I'm going to say training data and the column I want is weight and then what I'm trying to predict is the kind. And so I run that. And, um, and now I can actually do predictions with this. And so maybe what I'll do is I will say um, lr.predict. And what I want to predict is, um, uh, well, I'm having my training data. I'm going to have my testing data. I sorry, have my test data like that. And uh, I'm just going to add this as a column to that predict table, right? So I'm going to say uh, test data predict equals this. And, and this right now is going to be a little bit unhappy because I can't add a column to a data frame that is a slice of another data frame. And so to actually do this, I actually have to uh, try to decouple that. So I'm going to do that and take a peek at that. And, uh, and I can see it's doing pretty well. Right? I mean, you know, some, there's some cats that are bigger than some dogs, but in general, this is going to help me uh, predict it fairly well. Uh, but let, let's actually look at the coefficients and try to see how 
uh, when it was making these decisions. So I'm going to look at uh, the coefficients. And what you should notice here that's kind of strange is that I have three numbers, right? Three numbers for the coefficients. And actually, if I look at the intercept too, I'm also going to have three numbers there. So these are the coefficients. Um, this is the intercept. It's kind of weird, right? Because normally if I'm doing a logistic regression or linear regression, well, I, I have one value per how many variables I have. I only have one variable. So you might expect that I would just have one coefficient and one intercept, but I have these three. And that's because this linear regression, I'm sorry, this logistic regression actually did it for cats, it did it for dogs, and, um, and it did it for mice. Okay, so how, how is it actually making these predictions? And since it has these three, well, let, let me show you what it's doing. I have to, um, if I want to do the linear algebra behind, uh, behind this, I have to shape this up a little bit. I have to get the coefficients um, for dog, cat, and mouse, each in their own columns. I'm going to have three columns. And um, in the first column, I'm going to have the, the dog coefficients. The second one, I'm going to have the cat coefficients, and so on. Right. So this is just some, um, this is some uh, trickery, right, in NumPy. And um, so I'm going to use something actually called vertical stack, where I can put uh, the coefficients on the variable over these other ones. And, um, and so I'm doing vertical stack. I have to pass in a tuple of things. So I can say coefficient and lr.intercept. And um, this made me unhappy about the, the shape of it because this one is vertically oriented and it needs to be um, it needs to be horizontal like that. Okay, so you can see that I have these numbers here, right? That's, um, I actually don't know which column it is, right? I, I'm not guaranteed that it's dog first, but I could imagine that each, each of these columns represents the logistic regression coefficients for one of these classes that I have, right? So I'm going to put this in something called coefficients like so. I'm going to peek at that. And um, am I actually going to use these now to multiply by these up here, right? To actually kind of figure out what each of these animals are, right? And so the way I can do that, um, well, I, if I just do this, this isn't going to work because the size isn't right. I only want to do it on on these first two columns. So let me take a slice of this. I think I want all the rows and uh, only the first two columns. And, um, and this is kind of positional indexing, so I need to do that. And uh, let, let me just be like very clear here. Let me actually get rid of this. This is a good refresher. Okay, so there's my values, right? This is my data. And, um, and if I multiply it by, by the first column, right? Well, what, what is this one? Let me just show you what this one is. Right, this is those first coefficients, right? If I multiply these first coefficients, which I'm imagining are maybe for a dog, um, I get all of these scores here, right? And um, and if I take the first two classes, the coefficient for both of those, and I do the dot product of my data times both of these, adding another column uh, to the second matrix just adds a second column uh, down here, right? It didn't change my first one, right? And then if I add, um, you know, if I want to get all the data, right, if I want to get the third one, right, then it's just going to add another column down here without changing the other ones, right? So the kind of for each column I get in these coefficients, I get another column of output when I do my multiplication. And really at this point, I don't have to do any slicing because I'm just grabbing the whole thing. Okay, so I have this data. And, um, and what these things are is they're scores uh, for how dog-like or cat-like um, each of my original um, rows were. And so to really see this, well, what I should do is I should, um, I should, uh, let me get this in a, in a data frame. Um, I need to have some names on here, right? I don't know which of these is dog, which of these is cat. And, um, and where do I have that? Well, I have it in my logistic regression, right? If I look at classes here, right, that'll tell me it's, I guess, actually cat, dog, Mouse in this case, it ended up being alphabetical order. And so, so what I can do is I can create a new data frame from this. And um, actually, you know, I don't want to quite do that. The, the, the best way to do this actually is scores dot set uh, 
index, I think it is. Let me show if I had this in my notes. Great. So this is going to let me kind of set the names in the index and I replace existing columns, right? So I'm going to say columns equals, you know, A, B, C. Uh, what, what, what did I use before? Let me just check my notes here really quick. I'm, I'm apologizing for uh, kind of forgetting this. Uh, my notes down here. How do I rename a column? Uh, oh, set access. Okay, set access. Why am I doing that? I need to pass in a list. Oh, just a... Uh, Oh, I see it is. It's not columns. I have to say, you know, I did that. I'd be setting the, the labels in, in the index, right? The vertical, but one is horizontal. So I'm going to do that. And then what I really want, sorry, sorry for the confusion there. I want to go back and, um, and use the classes from my logistic regression, right? So I'm kind of getting these three scores here. And, um, and what else should I do? Well, let me, let me just make it very clear. I'm going to of directly putting those. I'm going to give it a better name. So for C and classes, I'm going to say C plus score, just like that. So I can do a score for each of them. And, and I'd really like this to just be between um, zero and one. So when I come back here, instead of, I, I could use this, right? I mean, bigger still means it's it's more likely to be that class. I'm just going to take the sigmoid of this to make them all nice numbers between zero and one. And, uh, and I have these nice scores now, right? And I'm just uh dot head okay so what i want to do now is to combine this information right i was using these coefficients on the data to get um for each row a score for cat dog and mouse and i'd like to go back and i'd like to show how that relates to what the logistic regression was predicting right so i'm actually going to take this test data and concatenate it with this scores data and so i'm going to say pd dot concatenate and uh, and when i do a concatenate i have to pass in two things right i have to pass in my multiple data frames in a tuple and so i'm going to say test scores and th that's not good because right now the default is axis equals am i misspelling concatenate maybe it's concat sorry in numpy it's that and um, and I don't want, I want that. I want it to really be a, a cross, right? So I'm going to do it like that. And um, and then here, what I can see is, well, this is my original data. This one is what it actually is. This one is what it was predicted to be, and that prediction was based on on these scores, right? All between zero and one. I can see for this first one, this four pound animal, uh, the cat logistic regression says 94%, uh, definitely not a dog, maybe a mouse, right? Uh, what about this one? Well, this one was kind of close, a 16 pound animal actually did pretty well on the cat score and slightly better on the dog score. And you may notice something here is that um, the, these numbers, right, that I'm showing you here, the sigmoid of what we get when we multiply the coefficients by the data, is often interpreted as a probability, but there's no guarantee those things are going to add up to um, one, right? Because these are kind of independently built, right? So this one, what is this one? That one's a cat. I wonder is there a mouse, right? So for the mouse, I see I have 0.91, really small number, definitely not a dog. And um, and then this one, well, is 99.7, right? And this one, it's kind of a little confusing. The mouse column is in um, scientific notation, right? So that one was predicted to be um, a mouse. So that's all it's doing, right? The hack here is that when we have multiple classes, right? We've already knew how to do uh, binary classification, false or true. And if we have multiple classes, well, we just do this uh, multiple times, one for each class, and then we kind of uh, look at the score and see which one um, is doing the best.